Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale AMT USA 1 Monster Truck. This is the 1988 TNT Motorsports National Points Champion. First off, what I'll do is show you guys around the box, give you guys a little bit of information, then I'll open everything up, show you guys all the parts, and I'll at the end of the video I'll let you guys know what I think of the kit. First off, let's check out this uh, box art they got here. Very nice. This is a uh, retouched photo of what the model could look like. And then here they have some more photos as well as some information and features. This is molded in white as well as black vinyl tires, chrome and clear. Paint and glue is required. This is a skill level 2 kit. There's over 100 parts. It features a supercharged Chevy engine, gigantic monster truck tires, colorful USA 1 body graphics, detailed suspension with 16 shocks, double roll bar with running lights and lots of chrome parts. On the other side you can see here that they just have more pictures of the truck and here's a picture of the actual truck and the model truck itself. Same with this side. And on the back they give some information actually about the real truck here. You usually don't see this. That's kind of cool that they give some information about that so if you're interested in uh, learning more about the USA 1 monster truck well here you go. And then some uh, stuff relating to AMT. So now let's uh, open this up and I'll show you guys all what comes inside. This one's a tight packed one, hard to get the lid off. There we go. Alright, so upon opening the box this is what you'll see. Have your instructions here right on top which is what I like. Nice uh, picture there of the model as well as the history of the USA 1 as well in the instructions, that's nice information for building the model and some building tips for advanced builders. The instructions look to be very detailed. Always helps in building a model especially if you're a beginner. And then here on the back they show you final assembly and then where the decals and everything go. It's very nice. I like those, those uh, instructions a lot. And here's uh, some chrome parts, and they are separated with a piece of, looks like just some parchment paper or something there to keep them protected. Uh, these chrome parts look amazing. I don't want to take them out yet because I don't plan to build this kit, but I mean, I hope you guys can see. Uh, everything looks really, really good. I don't see any problems with any of these chrome pieces. All of the chrome looks to be uh, nice, no runs or spots that they missed. Uh, they got valve covers, um, uh, stuff for the roll bar in the back behind the cab, uh, wheels and stuff like that, bumpers, chrome grill, um, and a chrome bumper there. So yeah, very nice uh, chrome parts there. And uh, here's your molded body. And I do like that the fact that they use a stock Chevy body here. It looks to be all stock as far as wheel wells and everything else on the dimensions go. So that's nice for uh, if you're ever planning to use, uh, you want a Chevy body for a, a scratch build project, this is a good kit for that. And uh, I'll take all these parts out here and show you guys in more detail. Here's uh, looks like suspension and wheels. Uh, here's your clear piece with your all your lights uh, looks like a, a visor there or a bug shield maybe for the hood here's your one piece glass for your front and your back looks to be molded really nice and then your red tail lights here's your huge tires molded these might actually be rubber but they're very nice and then here's a bag with a bunch of other parts And then uh, some stuff related to round two models and uh, you know joining their club and everything like that. And then here are the decals. I can get them out. And uh, I'll open these up for you guys and show you in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'll take all the white molded parts and everything out and I'll lay them all out and show you guys everything in detail and then I'll uh, let you guys know what I think of the kit. Here are your white molded parts. There are eight parts trees, not including the body and chassis. And taking a look at the body and chassis, they look very nice. Detail is good. Looks like to be a uh, factory 1500 Chevy truck body. Good detail. You could use this for 
another project if you'd like. I mean, body looks great. Here's the frame. Pretty good detail. Not the best, not the crispest I've seen. It's, it's a little thick, I've noticed. Some of the parts are a little thick, kind of like a snap tight kit, but I guess that means they're just that much more durable. So there's that, and uh, they include a molded in factory um, fuel tank there. I don't think that's correct for this, but that's how they got it. Uh, here are your huge tires that they have molded in. Doesn't look to be any flash or any imperfections that I can see. Everything looks great. It's your fender flares. And they do include two light bars to go behind the, uh, the cab. Uh, this one looks to be the factory one from another 1500 kit that they had issued out. And then they include a chrome one with other parts to go along with that that are for the kit. Uh, they do also include a, uh, a nice brush guard here. And then here's some suspension components. Everything looks to be molded very nice. Here are all your shocks. Very crisp molding on the shocks. Quite surprised with this kit. I thought for uh, the price that I paid, it's a few dollars cheaper than some of the other model uh, monster truck kits. But uh, the detail is very nice. Here's all your drive shafts. They only call for, I believe, three drive shafts in the instructions, so I'm not sure why there's two extra ones. Here you are your hood very nice molding as well as your uh, rear bed piece there steering wheel your uh, front seats and I don't think these are actually correct as well either because this is a race truck so they would have race seats your interior pan so everything seems to be somewhat factory Chevy truck they just kind of added a big engine and big suspension onto it which I'm assuming is probably close to what the actual truck was because I don't think it was an actual professional monster truck. Uh, here's your huge suspension. Very nice detail. Here's your transfer case and your transmission. Very nice detail on the leaf springs and the lift blocks and everything there. Here are your two axles. I believe these are uh, Rockwall two and a half ton axles. Very nice detailing. And then this last tree here has your engine and like I said there's parts that go along with this that are for the factory truck. You can see here there's a good amount of factory engine parts here as well as the parts that they include for the USA One Monster Truck. Um, they include some more parts there for your transfer case and some cross members, firewall, radiator. Um, and like I said for this is not correct they have a, a chrome fan belt and everything to go for the monster truck kit and then they include a stock spare tire so like I said this isn't the most correct kit but it definitely is a good build and uh, I will say if you're into doing scratch building or kit bashing this is an awesome kit to get because of the extra parts and all the uses for all the different parts for this kit also before I wrap this video up I want to show you these the decals here see if I can not get my hands all over them as I promised, I'd show you guys the decals. Nothing too fancy, but they do look really nice. There's not a lot of stuff included. There's just a Chevy, em thing, uh, Chevy emblem here for, I believe, like the windshield or the back glass. USA 1 decals here look very nice. I'm not sure. Hope you guys can see those. And then they also include some uh, detail here for going over the headlights and the side lights, as well as some VP race fuel decals here. So very nice. These have uh, 2009 on them, round two. So very nice. After taking a good look at the USA One Monster Truck hit from Ravel, I can say that I highly recommend this. Whether you're going to build this uh, right out of the box or you want to use the parts for scratch building or kit bashing, this is definitely worth the money guys. There's so much stuff in here that can be used for so many different applications in the scale model world. Uh, it's just insane. So you can pick this kit up for roughly $15 to $20 depending on where you live. Overall everything looks great. I highly recommend it guys. If you see this in the store or online for a great deal be sure to pick it up. It's definitely a good build. One thing I can say though is that it is cheaper than most of the other um, I guess you call them professional style um, monster trucks because it is mostly a factory Chevy C1500 uh, truck from the late 80s I believe it's supposed to be modeled after and this is a 2011 reissue of this I believe 
Um, and so everything is really crisp. The molding's great. Um, I mean, just the the wheels and everything in the body alone is worth what you pay for this. You know, along with all the other great parts. Like I said, they include some stock parts. They include doubles of some of the pieces, and uh, it's just a really great value. So overall, like I said, guys, 10 out of 10, five stars. Everything's great. Um, th I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a great day. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will chat with you all soon.